Mr. Chairman, thank you very much for invitation and for, uh, uh, for this possibility to speak to you and to give some remarks, some conclusions about uh, this very, very important uh, issue. Uh, when I was thinking about the security in the perspective of 2050, uh, first I uh, asked this question to my students. Sometimes it's good to ask normal people, let's call them not uh, living in security like we, uh, what do you think about something? Because they have got really good ideas and really good uh, uh, remarks. And what we did on our classes this week. First of all, we uh, found three parts of challenges. Uh, the first one is the easiest one. The challenges we know today, they are like ISIS, so-called ISIS, because NATO asked us to, 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 to use the name so-called Islamic State. And it's very important for NATO to use this phrase, uh, much more important than real action, but okay, sometimes. Uh, and it's of course, it's uh, Islam terrorism, don't hesitate to use the um, Islam word uh, with terrorism. There is a Middle, crisis, a Middle East crisis, there is an Islamic State. We know this. We know that uh, this problem exists here. Every day this week in London, we've heard about some alert. Yes, in the subway, in stations. We are afraid. We are going to work. We are going to the conference like we today. And we are afraid if everything will be all right. Did you remember that 15 or 12 years ago, uh, using aircraft, uh, airplanes, sorry, not aircraft, airplanes, was some kind of pleasure? We travel in a luxury. We were using normal forks and normal knives. Nobody says, oh, it's dangerous to give you um, something to eat, which is hot and in the way it's a pleasure. Now we are treated like, a, I don't know, like a prisoners. We are queuing for hours. We are checking. There are three, five or even more checking, che checkings during our, our today's travel. So they, they won. Yeah, they did it to us. Uh, the second part of challenges we know today is uh, Russian <coughs> imperial policy. Uh, you said about Soviet mentality, and, uh, and uh, I agree with you, but in my opinion, it's something bigger. It's uh, um, Putin's idea of big imperial Russia, uh, which uh, is uh, the most important player, one of the most important players in the world. And it's uh, in the moment we see uh, the back to this policy. Putin is in the salon now, he's welcomed, he's pictured with Obama, with other players. Who remember Ukraine? In my university, I have uh, 300 students from Ukraine. And <coughs> one conclusion uh, which uh, I see from what they are talking, what they are saying about their country is that Ukraine is now a country without a state. There is no such institution like police. Of course, there are people in uniforms. But you know it very good that during the, during the last year, President of Ukraine doubled his uh, money, doubled his uh, economy. So uh, uh, his, uh, salary. Says his salary. His, so, why he is a president? He is a president for people? No, for himself. And that's, that's the second point here. Yeah. And the third point, uh, which is uh, very, very clear now, is the lack of solidarity in our, uh, in our uh, organization. In the European Union, yesterday we heard about new mini Schengen. Yeah, today they are uh, Ministry of uh, Interior we are discussing this problem. We'll see what happened. But we know that uh, uh, Italy yesterday uh, introduced uh, border controls because of Milan and uh, Rome alerts. Other countries are on their way to do it. So uh, that's the problems we know today. That's the challenges we can see today. 
There are challenges we can imagine today. That's the second part. And very briefly, because I'm an academic, I know my time. <laughs> this is, uh, first of all, for me, which is now not so popular, but still dangerous, cyber attacks on a massive scale, on personal and institutional level. It was a threat uh, uh, in uh, CIA reports from 2013 and 14. It was the first alert, first danger on their top list. Not terrorism, the cyber attacks. The second thing, my husband was talking about it just uh, to, to remember, weapon of mass destruction used by terrorists. The third, the real clash of civilization. We have to stop with our political correct that we are fighting with some terrorists who are, we don't know who are. Yeah. There are uh, from very specific countries, they uh, have a very specific religion, and this uh, is uh, the, the basic of their, of their uh, statement of their uh, playing. Of course, there are challenges connected with uh, natural environment, like lack like of energy and so on. And the last part, uh, which was uh, the favorite one of my students, uh, we call it, let's try to be a fortune teller. Yes. What we are going to refrate really in 2050. Do you remember that uh, five years ago, the biggest threat of Western world was Iran nuclear program? Today, we know that we were overreacted a little bit. Three years ago, it was Russia and her expansion. Who is taking care now about this? Well, we know that something can happen, but actually, uh, this part of Ukraine, which were taken by Russia, they are Russian. So it's, it's really difficult to be a fortune teller. But what I, with my students, my students and I were uh, thinking and discussing about, and with just highlights I would like to leave you and to open discussion. Three things. New era of colonization. In 2030, we are going to open first permanent base center on Mars. Yes, on that Mars. <laughs> well, uh, f for the beginning, it's uh, just, of course, for, uh, uh, for uh, um, scientific reasons. But we don't know what in the future, in the second part of our century, will be the arena of war, of I don't know how to call. We have to think in this perspective. The second thing my students highlight was uh, control on automatic weapon. Now we don't have, uh, we as an international community, uh, rules of using such things like drone to uh, operation against uh, humanity. We use it only for supervising. We say we use it only for supervising. We have some tests, but we don't have law to use it uh, legally. So the question is, who is going to be the person who will be so brave to write these rules? One of, uh, uh, one of politicians said that this is the revolution which we, can, which we can compare to, uh, mm, to a weapon of mass destruction. And the last, really the last, the last thing, the last, uh, the last conclusion, the last remark, uh, bipolarization of our world. Uh, we, have to, we have to ask this question, when it will be cheaper, easier, better for some part of world, to protect a small group than to fight against our threats? That's the question we have to ask today. Are we going to build a ghetto? Uh, have you seen the film uh, uh, The Day After? Yes, like these arcs in The Day After. Or are we really going to fight with threats all over the world? That's the point. So thank you very much. Sorry for being late, but it's security. Yeah, it's a security reason. <laughs> and hope for a great discussion. Thank you.